Hey church family, I just wanted to take this opportunity to provide you with another word of encouragement as we continue to pray for the end of this pandemic. Now, I'm sure you already know that those of us living in Travis County, we are now required by law to wear face masks in public places. Uh, this new law could be in place for several weeks, if not even for a few months. And according to the public health officials, uh, this is a necessary step in continuing to slow the spread of COVID-19. With that being the case, I encourage everyone, let's go ahead and wear our masks in public as we continue to wait for treatments and vaccines to be developed. At the same time, though, I would also encourage every Christian to go ahead and take off their mask, spiritually speaking. The reason I say this is due to the fact that there are many believers who are hiding behind an immaterial mask. Rather than being humble, rather than being honest, rather than being transparent about their struggles, there are many in the church today who are pretending to be more mature than they actually are. And what's even worse is that some of these phonies have become legalistic believers who are expecting others to live up to their fictitious facade. Now, if this sounds like something that you struggle with, I encourage you to consider something that John wrote in his first epistle. It's in 1 John chapter 1, where the apostle John declared, If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins... He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Christian, listen. Rather than you know, living behind some sort of fictitious facade of spiritual maturity, I encourage every Christian to walk in the light of the Lord. Let's walk in the light of the Lord. And one way that we do this, well, it's by being humble enough to, to confess our faults to one another. In this way, we can have true fellowship with one another as we take off the mask. And as we take off the facade and, and, and as we just present ourselves as we are to one another, we'll have fellowship with one another. And as we have fellowship with one another in the Lord, Jesus Christ will continue to help us to become the believers that he wants us to be. Finally, I want to remind you that you can join us for our weekly services right here online. This includes a midweek study, Wednesdays at 7 p.m., as well as our Sunday morning service, which is at 10 a.m. Both studies, they're streaming live online right here at calvarysouthaustin.com. I hope to see you here. God bless you.